Our market monitor tonight says stocks are performing roughly as he thought they would, moving up gradually, but with more volatility than in 2013. He's Eric Ristabin, chief investment strategist with Russell Investments. Eric, good to have you back with us. Uh, you heard, I assume, uh, what uh, uh, President Bullard just said of the St. Louis Fed, that he's generally optimistic about the economy. Are you? Yeah, I am. Uh, we, we think the U.S. is going to grow about 3 percent. The data in the first couple of months has been spotty, but, you know, the market is blaming weather. We think that's probably it. The numbers on retail sales since Valentine's Day when the weather's been pretty good. Consumer sentiment is strong. We expect this to be a blip and, and, and more deferred economic activity than, than lost economic activity. Eric, you know, investors don't like a crisis, and you heard at the top of our program all the stuff that's going on in the Ukraine, uh, and yet we had a very strong February. So how does all of this play out going into March? Well, I, I mean, the Ukraine situation, obviously, um, is, is something you got to keep an eye on. Uh, normally, that kind of turmoil, I mean, if you go back just to Egypt and Syria, um, they're obviously catastrophic of the countries that are involved in them, but they usually don't have a kind of systemic risk to them unless there's military escalation. And I think that's why the, the, the news is so full of, you know, tr potential troop movements of Russians into the Crimea. Um, I, I, you know, at this point, I still think it's unlikely we get a military escalation, but that's the thing that would make this a bigger problem. Otherwise, I think you're going to continue to see good equity returns, good risk on returns uh, kind of across the board. And, and investors should kind of look through, you know, the turmoil of short term and, and maybe political turmoil that is that may or may not actually impact investments and look at the fundamentals of stock prices, earnings and the economy. So you seem to be painting a pretty positive picture for the remainder of 2013. Let's help our viewers make some money. Your first pick tonight is Pfizer. Why? Yeah. Well, uh, I think it's a, it's a good emblem of, our, of one of our larger overweights, which is health care. In general, actually, we are overweight those, those parts of the economy that are cyclical, that will benefit from a good economy. Things like energy, thing like, things like financials. Our hedge against that, frankly, uh, is health care. And we think it is the cheapest defensive sector out there, and particularly like we, like we like pharmaceuticals, and specifically we like Pfizer. And you also, you mentioned just financials, and uh, Bank of America is another one of your recommendations. Uh, tell us what's the appeal with BAC. Well, it, it, like a lot of things we're looking at this year is we're looking at valuations. Um, we think it's going to be a good year for banks in general, um, and we think it'll be a better year in terms of stock price for those, those banks that are cheaper than average going into the year, and we think Bank of America is cheaper, uh, and we think it's going to be a good year for banks in general. Energy has been a little bit orphaned in this market, hasn't it, Eric? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Last year was horrible for energy. Uh, a lot of negativity was priced into commodities in general, but specifically energy stocks. Uh, we think it got overdone. Um, and again, uh, our, our overweight in energy really is a, a manifestation of the fact that we think um, we're going to have a good economy that's going to be good for energy prices. It's going to keep oil you know, well above $90 a barrel. And companies like Halliburton are going to be able to make some money because they're an oil, you know, oil field services company. You know, as you know, investors have been looking to almost every single economic report and parsing through every detail to figure out what's next yeah. for the markets. The big one next week, of course, is the February jobs report. What are you expecting in that report and how might that play out in the markets? Yeah, we're kind of we're close to consensus. We're expecting about 180,000 um, for the remainder of the year. We're actually expecting over 200,000 jobs. I think, though, that, you know, you got to be looking at the impact of weather. the weather hasn't been great. Um, I think the, the market will probably accept 130,000 jobs, anything meaningful below that. And I think you're going to have an issue. Um, it is a number to watch, um, but three bad numbers, really bad numbers in a row, I think is going to be problematic. Where do you think uh, interest rates are going to end the year? How much higher, how much lower, roughly where they are very quickly? We, we higher. We think the 10 years is going to end up about 340, uh, which means mm. you know, that's a headwind for stocks. We think that equities are benefit from the headwind to the stocks, and, and I think investors are going to be attracted to Any equities. Any disclosures on those uh, companies you mentioned, Pfizer, Bank of America, and Halliburton? I, 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 we own them all through our funds, and I own our funds. All right, Eric Ristabin, Chief Investment Strategist with Russell Investments. Thanks very much.